members of the school board. Today I will express my concerns about the FSA testing. I consider myself a well-educated young lady. However, with FSA tests, my five years of school all on our own do not matter. This testing looks at me as a number. One test defines me as either a failure or a success through a numbered rubric. One test at the end of the year that the teacher or myself will not even see the grade until after the school year is already over. I do not feel that all this FSA testing is accurate to tell how successful I am. It doesn't take into account of all my knowledge and abilities, just a small percentage. Here are my concerns. First of all, I do not feel good about a form in the FSA that you have to send ensuring that you can't even discuss the test with your parents. I am not comfortable signing something like this. I have the right to talk to my parents about any and everything related to school and my education. Second, why am I being forced to take a test that hasn't even been testing on students here in Florida, so happen to be accurate and valid on what I know? Why are we taking most of the year stressing and prepping for one test at the end of the year when we should be taking tests throughout the year that really measure our abilities? My opinion is that we should take a test at the beginning of the year, middle, and end of the school year to accurately measure what we know. Third, the stress and pressure that this testing puts on me, and I'm sure most students, is not healthy. Why should we have so much stress about one test when we should be learning and having fun in school? With all this testing in school, more fun things in school, such as recess, are being eliminated because of all the training for the test. So, ladies and gentlemen the school board, I urge you to put a stop to high stakes testing today. It is not good for the schools, teachers, and students. Parents and students, contact your governor. Put a stop to all the standardized testing. Thank you so much for your time.